So here's the question. How do you fly IFR out of an uncontrolled airport? That is, there's no tower nor anyone there to control the IFR traffic. The answer is a one-in, one-out procedure called IFR release. So how does it work? We'll just look at departures as it places the burden on the pilot for knowing how to get the process started. I found the hardest part was determining who to get the IFR clearance from. I decided to tune in CTAF and ask them for clearance. I knew they couldn't do it, but I was hoping they could tell me who could. I got lucky and they told me to contact Washington Center. Here's how that goes. Once the clearance is given, you will be released for departure. The controller is essentially closing down the airspace to any other IFR traffic, ensuring that you will be the only IFR aircraft arriving or departing the field. Now obviously the controller can't close down the airspace indefinitely and for this reason the IFR release will be valid for only a certain period of time. You'll most likely hear a phrase along the lines of released for departure and the clearance will be void if you don't get off by that time. One final note, VFR traffic is not affected by this at all and they continue to function as normal. Here in SkyVector, I've just set a real simple flight plan from KDAN to KRIC. KDAN is uh, Danville Regional Airport, it's an uncontrolled airport. And KRIC is a Class C airport. Obviously, if you're flying IFR out of Danville, this is when IFR release comes into play. So here we are at Danville. And as you can see, we just set up a real simple flight plan in Pilot ATC that goes from Danville to Richmond and using an ILS approach to runway 34. We've already validated the approach and filed it. And we've tuned in the Danville CTAF on 123.05. So from here, I'm just going to let it play so you see how it goes. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha ready to copy IFR clearance. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha request IFR clearance and release from center on 124.05. Enjoy your evening. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha ready to copy IFR clearance. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha is cleared to Kilo Romeo India Charlie as filed. Expect departure runway 20. Maintain 5,000 feet. Squawk 4232. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha is cleared to Kilo Romeo India. Charlie is filed. Maintain 5,000 feet. Squawk 4232. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha read back correct. Contact us for IFR release when number one for departure. Air 5108, Roger. Contact you for IFR release, Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha, ready for IFR release, runway 20. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha, you are released for departure. Runway 20 after takeoff, turn left to heading 046, then proceed direct Juliet Uniform Victor Papa Oscar climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Release for departure void at 2203 Zulu, advise with alternate intentions no later than 2208 Zulu, time now is 2156 Zulu. So they've given us 52 minutes. That's way more than usual. And I find it pretty incredible that Pilot ATC would actually model such rather obscure procedure as this. But man, it's great that they did.